So in part four of this course, I'm just going to show you a few of the finishing touches on building out your web page, one of which is adding a custom domain name, and the other is to add what's called a fav icon. So that's where you change this generic globe type looking thing to um, something more in keeping with your brand so that it's more identifiable. For example, Loom here has a very identifiable image. Um, the Airtable has its own fav icon. This is my existing no code web page. It's got the, the, the logo that corresponds with the no code.e logo. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I suppose as an added bonus, I might show you how to mock up a, um, a, a logo uh, using a free logo creator tool. Um, again, it's very useful if you are uh, launching a startup and you need something professional and custom um, looking. And um, I'll show you that at the end of the video. And um, so if that sounds of interest to you, stick around. Um, also, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions on anything you've seen in any parts of this series and um, feel free to leave in the comment section below and I will respond to each comment and um, if you've any suggestions for future tutorials please also leave a comment and I, I, I promise I will get to it and um, anyway for now I'll show you how to um, set up your custom domain okay so you come into here into settings and um, and in here you have a custom domain okay so you come in here and you effectively put in what your custom domain name is so i'm going to put in um, i already have this uh, assigned to the no code web page but i'm going to do let me just do it as as as, uh, as a different domain name that i own so i can find that ie and if i click save it's now giving me um the, the, the value that I need to now go to my domain name register and input that value in my DNS settings. Um, so it's really, it's it's a little bit technical, but if, if it's, it's straightforward enough, if you know, if you bought a domain name, you just log into your domain name provider. You find your DNS settings, each domain name provider will have a DNS and you effectively input these values um, in, in the DNS settings. You then come back here and you click refresh. Okay, so there might just be a little bit of troubleshooting there, but once you have it set up, you'll see here, for example, no code.ie is on the H is on the no code.ie domain name as opposed to on um, the, uh, the 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 softer domain that that it gives you right as a as a default now the other option is if you don't currently own a domain name you can edit your subdomain name so that it's more in keeping with the website that you've just produced so I'm gonna call this I think I already have no dash code so I'm gonna call this um video video guide uh, dot softer dot io <clears throat> and publish okay so that's that's that okay next thing is the fav icon so if you come in here settings and if you go into general and um, it's always good practice to name your application so i'll call this no code uh, web page uh, tutorial okay that's just so that when i log into software in the future i'll be able to see it but also it's important for search engine optimization reasons to name it something that effectively tells a search engine what your web app or your web page relates to so i'm going to come in here the custom domain name um, i think i have it as video guide.software.io so this is where you add in your file icon so I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to use my no code fav, fav icon. So again, you just have a, a square shaped image that you upload here and then you just click save. And then I'm going to hit publish again. And <clears throat> when I click on my softer subdomain name, you will see, I hope that's not working just yet. Oh, so the problem there is that I have not yet gone into my uh, host and registered those details. So I'm going to X off that and I'll just come in here. And for the purpose of showing you the fab icon, I will uh, delete out the custom domain name right? because I didn't follow through on that. And then I come back here and publish and go publish. And if I click video guide, that's software.io. And you'll see there's my little fab icon there, which is... Um, 
has worked, thank God. Okay, close out of that. Last thing then, as a bit of a bonus, I'll show you how to create a logo from scratch and for free using um, a site called logomaker.com. Come in here. <clears throat> we can very quickly um, mock up a, you know, a very professional looking uh, logo and um you know we can we can we can come back to it and we can uh, change color we can change size we can change uh, as necessary um, so effectively the way logo maker works is it's basically like a whiteboard and um, so for this one let's just say i don't know i'll just call it tools or something i'm just gonna find an image that makes sense for the type of website that i'm building um, so let's see, we'll just go with something like, let's go with, um, I'm just thinking of like no code. So it's, you know, tools that you use on the internet. And um, there, that looks like an application with tooling. So that looks like quite a good starting point for a logo. Um, it's identifiable, it's simple. So I'm just going to size that and then I'm going to put in some text. And so this would no code die and put that in like that. And I'm probably going to change my font so that looks more uh, in keeping with my brand. I'll go with that. I don't really like that color, so I'll just change that to black. You're usually best making a, a black and a white version with a transparent background as a starting point and then you might do one in a color that is on brand so for example on no code i have it in my brand color here and uh, i also have uh, you know white out versions and and black out versions of it as well so if i come back into logo maker i've done that there and if i just size that down now and then i'm going to bring it over to beside the logo and there you have a fairly quick and fairly simple you know logo created and there's all sorts of you know other icons other images and you can make really good looking logos in here so then i just hit save and i just hit uh, download low resolution so that's free and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to my software website and remember in my footer here i'm able to upload my logo <clears throat> so where do i do that i do it here and um, and i am going to upload that just now so to upload it you just click on the logo button here upload file there's the file i just made upload that and i've got my logo in there now okay so that brings us to the end of our build a web page using Airtable and software in less than 45 minutes. I hope you enjoyed following along. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and like the uh, like the video. Any comments, please leave them below. Um, and uh, yeah, we have future tutorials on everything no code and with a particular focus on Airtable and software and automations using both of those tools and integrations using the likes of Zapier and Integromat or using just direct automations uh, directly through Airtable. Um, so look, thanks for your time. Thanks for staying with me and um, look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thanks.